Hey Spartan family, Grayson Kilgore here. I want to share a 15 minute workout with you that I use in off seasons like this to challenge my athleticism, uh, to build my balance, and to specifically be able to do a lot of hard work while I'm dizzy. For those of you that have done a lot of Spartan races, you know that there are some key obstacles out there that if you do them quickly and correctly, they're gonna mess with your equilibrium and make it hard to see as you're accelerating out of that obstacle. A few examples, a few examples of that would be the barbed wire crawl, uh, A-frame cargo net, vertical cargo net, um, even if you're going over a wall correctly in a, in a cartwheel style, there's gonna be multiple points where your head is below your feet or you're log rolling quickly down a hill um, to, try to try to get out of the obstacle fast, all right? So um, this workout's 15 minutes. It's got four stations and a, a rest station, each one 60 seconds, okay? So the first one here, um, I'm gonna be doing a handstand to a somersault. The reason I'm doing that is because I'm trying to mimic that A-frame cargo net flip, um, or even if I'm cartwheeling over a wall, I want to get used to my head being below my feet, flipping over quickly, and getting back and ready to run again, okay? Check it out. So I'm going to go to my yoga mat right over here. It's really simple. For 60 seconds, not at a crazy fast pace, I'm going to do a handstand, somersault, and then same thing going back, okay? So handstand, somersault, I'm dizzy. I'm going to turn around, and I'm going to do it again, okay? If that's too hard, you can practice balancing for a little bit. Try to get your handstand up there, and then go. So that, that's a simple one. 60 seconds of getting used to having your feet over your head, rolling out of that, and practicing feeling a little bit sick, getting that vertigo feeling, but learning to be comfortable in that weird, awkward, dizzy moment, right? So the next one we're going to do is supposed to also kind of challenge that dizziness a little bit, but we're going to get a great core workout while we're at it. So you've seen this one before. I'm going to do a classic V up to a Superman, but I'm not going to use my hands while I'm rolling, okay? V up, Superman, V up, okay? So I'm just making sure that I'm used to rolling forward and rolling sideways getting some good shoulder stuff in there and a great core workout while I'm at it. Okay, so if I've done uh, two hard 60 second segments of a handstand somersault to V-ups, um, I'm gonna be hopefully a little bit dizzy and then I'm gonna go right into an exercise where I'm gonna practice balancing and, and having body control while I'm dizzy, okay? So I'm gonna take my little dumbbell here and I'm gonna do um, a single leg RDL with a single arm push press and balance at the top, okay? I might fall over while filming this. Let's give it a try, okay? So I'm just gonna take this dumbbell with a, a little bit of a bent knee, do my single leg RDL, but when I come up, I'm gonna balance and push back down right there, okay? So with that one, I would go like 30 seconds each leg, really focusing on going down, up with that good push press up and above your head, stay in balance. I like to put my knee up and my toe up on my opposite leg, um, just to, to get used to kind of, one, that's a good, a good running technique, uh, but also to challenge that balance a little bit better, okay? So 60 seconds of that. The last one that I like to use here um, is this speed ladder that I taped right here onto the ground. Is, uh, look at this, it's masking tape, right? Um, I have a speed ladder, I can't find it, so I use this, all right? This took me probably a minute and 30 seconds to create. You can tape it to the carpet. I would definitely add it. Um, those of you that played a lot of sports maybe prior to Spartan Racing know that a speed ladder is great for training your feet to go where your brain tells them to go. And also learning how to do that faster than maybe you did previously. It's not something that endurance runners use a lot, but I've found that for me as an off-road racer, like a freestyle runner, in a, in a fast downhill moment where maybe I'm a little bit dizzy, maybe I just flipped over a wall and now I've got to accelerate through a rocky patch, this really helps me maintain some control over my feet, okay? So I'm gonna start with one, and you can mix this up as you like to, but I'm gonna start with one that I know is gonna help me build some ankle strength and stability in the process. So I'm just gonna do a single leg zigzag going through here, on my speed ladder, hop in, get my foot in the box, 
and then coming out to the side, okay? Then you can turn around and do the same thing, go back, right? That's easy. A couple other classics you can do. You can look up a lot of these on YouTube. Um, another one that I use often is your icky shuffle, right? I'm going in, in, out, in, in, out. As you figure out the form, as your, as your brain is successfully telling your feet where to go in the box, you can start speeding it up a little bit, right? So in and out, and then you can just practice, trying not to step on the tape, but trying to get your feet in and out of the box as quickly, okay? Uh, I'll show you one more just for the fun of it. Um, I like to use this one where I'm, I'm straddling the ladder here. I'm going in, in, out, out, in, in, right? It's that simple. I'll start slow, in, in, out, out, and then you can speed it up as necessary, right? Some of that stuff might look like it's a little bit like basketball or football oriented. Some of those more like mainstream sports. But I gotta tell you, that speed ladder is a great way for you to build athleticism and get used to the really crazy things that a Spartan race throws at you. There you have it, that's my 15 minute workout. I hope you give it a try, I hope you enjoy it, and I hope it makes you a better Spartan racer. Thanks for your time.